so my name's Emily Page. I'm here at the bike shed today with my beautiful Triumph Tiger Cub Pre-65 Trials bike. So the reason I got this bike is I've been riding off-road trials since I was about 11 and that's usually on modern trials bikes and then a couple of years into that my dad decided to get himself a matchless and I thought hell no I'm not getting left behind so got the Tiger Cub. So since I've had this bike we've been doing a lot of Pre-65 trials down Hampshire Way where we're from and just riding a lot of the trials that we ride with our clubs on these anyway, just for a bit of fun. It's a really lovely, lightweight bike, so it's easy for me to lift up and move around. And it's not too overpowered, not too underpowered. I can get around my trials, get over logs, get through ditches, whatever I need to be doing. And then my brother kept nagging me to actually go and play at Malay. And I thought finally I'd give up a little bit of time when I'd usually be riding these lovely bikes on trials. The first year I thought, I'll take it a bit easy, I'll just do the hill climb. And as soon as I was racing, I immediately regretted that and wanted to be playing on everything. But spanner in the works, I got halfway up the hill, tried to change into fourth and catch the bloke who was racing in front of me and no longer had a clutch lever. So I had to go and beg around in the campsite, see who I could find that had a lever for me. This one's still from three years ago, upside down, because it's actually a brake lever. So we've just got that on there. And what's the point in changing it? It's a good story. So that's one of the brilliant things about Malay is that everyone's super relaxed. They all want to help you out. So you're running around through people's tents through the campsite trying to see if anyone's got a lever to borrow or bolts to borrow or a spanner or anything like that and everyone's just helping each other out having a really good time. So we've recently just come back from Lydon where we were at the Bike Shed Festival and again racing the Malay races they had on there this time. We raced in the Dash, the Cross and the Derby and it was absolutely brilliant fun. Actually managed in one of the heats for the Malay Cross to beat Ben from NAS which was absolutely fantastic. And again, that's one of those events that everyone's just being so friendly and everyone's cheering each other on and playing real fair and it's so much fun to actually be a part of. So that's a little bit of history behind the bike. Let's have a look through it. When we first got hold of this bike, it was a bit of a basket case. The engine was all in bits in a box. But the frame itself, you could stand on and balance for a good 30 seconds without any hands. So we knew it was going to be a good bike. And the bloke that put it all back together for us and restored it to its glory is Bob Hampton, a good mate of ours who we ride with. Starting at the front, we've got lightweight Alley Trials wheels with trial winner tyres on them. It's got a drum brake at the front there. It's not too problematic at any point. It's a lightweight bike, you're never going too fast to really worry about it. Heading up, we've got Alley mudguards that are beautiful, give it a really retro look and are nice and easy to bend back into place when you've dropped it. Heading to the shocks, they're either off of a Ossa or a Bull Taco from the 70s, but not really sure which. Onto handlebars, just rent a set of handlebars that are used for trials normally. Again, like I said, with odds, levers on them, and upside down because it's a nice botch job. Heading over to the tank kind of area, we've got oil in the frame, and then a lovely polished alley tank with a CNC Sammy Miller's fuel cap. Down to the engine, we've got an absolutely brilliantly running bike, but there's not much else that's been done to it other than to make sure it runs properly. There's an amyl carb in there with a cone filter just to save on weight. The gearing, like on a lot of pre-65 bikes, is on the wrong side, so brakes are over on the left, gearing's on the right. And that's not too problematic. The bit that gets a bit confusing is when you try and step on the brake and it's not under your foot. Next up, we've got the Kickstart, which is a Terry Weedy design, which is meant to allow you to kick over your bike without flipping up your pegs. But because I've got massive, great Charles pegs on mine, I still have to tuck it up before I can kick it over. So the main bit of adaption that's been done to this bike is to the exhaust. So there's welds down at the front and at the back to allow it to move through the frame and keep a nice high level that you need for Charles riding. Back wheels are 18 inch, again, nice light alley with Charles tires on there. Shocks are Beetle gas shocks, just something that we had and that went on there. Nice plastic single seat. And then moving on finally to the alley mudguard at the back that's nice and dented up from all the times so that I've dropped it on the floor and bent it back into place. So that's a little tour of the bike that I love. Let's start it up and hear how it sounds. Like I said, nice and lightweight. So I'm able to move it around whenever I need to. Hang up. Plastic off. Fuel on. Make sure you're not touching the clutch a little bit throttle. Yeah.
So I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about this bike today. Make sure you like and subscribe to Bike Shed's YouTube channel where you can find even more cool information about awesome bikes.